Morning guys. Today is Monday. I hope you all had a great weekend. I know I did. Let me go ahead and start by showing you my sign-in sheet. By this time, you should have already signed in. This is mine for today. Let's see, I put Miss Rodriguez. Notice how I only have uppercase letters at the very beginning of my name and the rest are lowercase, just like yours should be. And it says, today I feel excited. Do you wanna know why I'm excited? Well, I'm excited because I get to see you again today. I missed you this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, but now we're back to Monday with our videos. So today I only have one message for you all. I'm going to start message number one. There's a letter next to our number one. It's different than the letter that we had on Friday. Do you know what letter this is? Yes, it's B, B, B. And right here for message number one, I wanted to let you know of this new app that we're going to be using called Seesaw. And the app icon looks something like this. So when it's time for you to start doing your activities for the day, after you wake up, you have your breakfast, make sure that you sign in, tell me how you're feeling today and write it in your journal, then you're going to go to whatever device you've been using. Is it a phone, a laptop, a a different type of computer or a tablet you're going to get your tablet or your phone or your computer and you're going to click on the seesaw class app and it's going to open it and it's going to look something like this and so make sure that when it's time for you to do your work you look for the app that looks like this it says seesaw and then it has some lines in different colors, nice and bright so you can see it easily. That is where you're going to start watching my videos that I make for you. You might need someone in your family to help you in the beginning, but after a few days you'll probably get the hang of it and be able to get on the app by yourself so that you can view the lesson videos. And then the cool thing about Seesaw is that you can take pictures and you can post them on our class on our class app in Seesaw. You can take a video of yourself. If you see that one of your friends posted their activity and is showing you their paper on the app, then there's a place where you can type out a nice note and say, ooh, I love it, or hey, or have a good day. You can leave nice messages for each other on that app. Just make sure that you always ask for your parents' permission before you post anything, okay? Now, that was our only message today. We only had one message today. That means that it is time for you to find out what you're doing for small group. So for small group today, you are going to need a clipboard with a piece of paper, but I don't have a clipboard at home. I only have my clipboard at school. So what you can do if you don't have a clipboard, just like me, then you can get out your journal where you sign in and turn to a blank page so that you can have space for today's activity. Today, I was thinking that we could go on a shape hunt. You are going to hunt for shapes just like we did at school sometimes. But now we're at home and you've never hunted for shapes at home before. So I want you to look around your house right here where you are and tell me if you see anything that has shapes in it. Hmm, oh, I see my TV against that wall right there. But what shape is a TV? I want to make an outline for you what I'm seeing. It goes sideways, down, sideways, up. Hmm, let's see if you can guess what it is. Yep, it's a rectangle 
I bet your TV is the same shape as my TV, but you it's also a rectangle. So now we need somewhere to write our information. So I'm going to get my blank sheet of paper. I'm going to get a marker. I think I'm going to use my purple marker today. Let's see. At the top of our page, we need to write the name of the activity, which is called Shape Hunt. So right here on the top, I'm going to write my title. And then I will show it to you. It should say Shape Hunt. Let's see. I've got the word shape. Now I need to put my finger to leave a space for the next word. Hunt. Okay, pause the video if you need to so that you have time to copy the title on the top of your page. Okay, you should have the title now. And then I'm going to skip a line and draw a line across, just like this. And then I'm going to count five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And then draw another line. Just like this. See how I skip counted five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And then I drew a line. Now I'm going to count five more lines. One, two, three, four, five. And draw another line. And do that all the way to the bottom of your page so that we can create our chart. So it should look like this now. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, now I need some space here to draw something. So I'm gonna skip some space and then draw a line going all the way down. Okay, so now we have our chart. It's a shape hunt, and on this side, we need to draw shapes that we might look for. What are some shapes that you remember? Yes, they're circle. So I'm going to draw a picture of a circle. And then I'm going to write out the word circle. C I R C L E. Here it is. Pause the video if you need to. There's the shape and there's the word circle. Okay, what are some other shapes you can think of? Hmm. You're right, a square. So our next shape will be a square. I'm going to draw it out and then underneath my drawing I'm going to write the word square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. Square. Just like this. Square. Okay. Hmm. I can also think of triangle and rectangle, just like at the TV that I saw in my house. Let's see. I need triangle. Let me make sure I spell my word also. T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. There's my third shape, triangle. And the last one that I said was a rectangle. That's my fourth shape. It's R-E-C-T-A-N-G. L E rectangle. So this is what you should have right now. Shape hunt and then it says circle, square, triangle, and rectangle. And I left one blank spot down here so that you can pick your own shape. When you're looking around your house on your shape hunt, if you see a shape of an object that is not here, then you can write your own shape right here and make sure that you write the name of the shape also, okay? So I said I saw a TV in my house. So, and it looks like a rectangle shape. So in the row with the rectangle shape, 
I'm going to draw a picture of my TV. Let's see. It has a rectangle top, and then it has some little legs on the bottom so that it doesn't fall over. And there you go. Here's a picture of my TV. Hmm. While I look around and go on my own shape hunt at my house, I need you to go on your shape hunt at your house. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to try to fill up your chart. You need some circles, some squares, triangles, rectangles, and then one shape that you come up with and that you find by yourself. Okay? When you're done filling out this chart, take a picture of it to show me or take a video of you going on your shape hunt and finding shapes and send it to me through the Seesaw app, okay? And when I'm done, I'll also post a picture of my chart so you can see what kind of shapes I found in my house. I will see you a little bit later for book time, okay? Today we're gonna be reading an alphabet book, okay? I'll see you later.